Hi everyone, welcome back. It's so nice to see you here and um, hello, it's me, the goth that complains about random stuff sometimes. So as you guys probably know, if you follow any goth on YouTube or on Instagram, there's been like some drama lately. It kind of connects to the topic that I wanted to talk about in this video, so I think I'm gonna kind of dive on that drama a little bit. But first, if you guys follow me on Instagram or here on YouTube, you know that I've been trying to get my hair orange for quite a while now and um, I bleached it and I did a bunch of shit to it to make it look brighter and I think finally I have something to show you. I'm orange, super duper orange. I'm back to bright colors. Finally, kids are screaming my hair color in the street. Ah, I miss that so much. I also have my eye patches, my weird eye patches to reduce puffiness because I'm having like some serious dark circles um, currently for some reason. I'm just tired, I guess. So yeah, there's a reason why I'm looking so natural looking. Horrible uh, term, I know, but you know, makeup free. Uh, no products in my hair, no fake hair, all that stuff, wearing my, my glasses. And I think I'm gonna be doing my makeup while I talk. So this is kind of a get ready with me, but not really. It's just, I don't know, I, I like to multitask, I guess. I think that this idea to make this video kind of came from my fast fashion uh, video, where I talk about goth fashion and fast fashion and all of that. And uh, recently, a YouTuber called Fright Summers did a video mentioning that uh, goth fashion or the fashion the goth lifestyle is a bit too expensive and she kind of talks about all the hauls and all the you know unboxing videos and all of that that some um, goth influencers do uh, to promote brands you know it's always the same brands i kind of mentioned that on on my video and i kind of agree that i'm not the biggest fan of those videos but you know i'm just not that interested in, in seeing what clothes people are buying or the clothes that people are wearing. I am interested in fashion, but the fashion I'm mostly interested in is people that do, you know, their own creations, DIY kind of stuff. And that's just a thing I'm into. I'm not saying that everybody should be into that or everyone should have the same preferences or watch the same videos or watch the same content. It's just I'm not really a fan of haul videos. If I want to see what Killstar has at the moment, I just need to open my Instagram because they're always bombarding me with ads and, you know, everyone owns Killstar stuff. I do and uh, I'm not that interested in seeing people unboxing a bunch, a bunch of their shit. That being said, I don't think it's terrible that people do unboxings. I'm sure there is a crowd of people that enjoy that kind of content. There certainly is because there is a lot of views for those types of videos, I think it's important for us to understand that what we like and the content that we like to see doesn't necessarily mean that is the good content and the content that we don't like to see is the bad content. It's just not my preference. However, I do feel like the big goth influencers, most of them, they do create that type of content a lot. There's a lot of unboxes, a lot of subscription boxes, and um, I think that might be one of the reasons why I don't follow any particular goth YouTuber. There might, I'm sure there are, <laughs> a lot of smaller goth YouTube channels that I don't know. And I really didn't want to come across like I'm being super self-entitled or anything when I say that I don't really watch any or, any, or follow any uh, goth uh, YouTube channels, because I have a YouTube channel. but. I really don't. The only channel that I think I follow is for a Brazilian YouTuber. She's called Nosferotica and she's so funny. I wish you guys all knew Portuguese so you could um, check her channel. I mean, you can ch still check her channel, probably won't understand if you don't speak Portuguese, but she's so funny and she talks about a lot of stuff besides, you know, fashion and makeup. She does have uh, which is hilarious to me, but she has a channel that is more focused on fashion and makeup and still I think she manages to talk about a lot more stuff that 
uh, I don't really see on most of uh, goth YouTubers, you know, stuff like body positivity, racism, that kind of stuff. Yeah, I kind of miss different topics on the, on the goth community. When I watch a YouTube channel, what I want is to feel good when I watch a video or at least feel like I earned something from it, you know, either knowledge or whatever. Hauls and unboxings don't make me feel like anything. Uh, if they make me feel like anything is to want to buy stuff and that's not a feeling that I want to have especially because I'm really trying to uh, be a better consumer I really want to reduce the amount of stuff that I buy I really don't want anything that um, incentivates me to buy more stuff and another thing about the feel-good sensation of watching a video it's something that I kind of notice that happens a lot as well on the goth community, on the YouTube goth community, which is self-deprecating content. And that's why I do my best to show you the before and after of me doing my makeup. That's just me. I'm not saying that I look like shit. I'm not saying that I look ugly. That's just how I look without makeup. That's how I look when I'm watching Netflix. I was just watching The Disappearance of Madeleine McCann. Have you watched it? Kind of hitting close to home to me. When I show you that, that before and after, I, I'm not showing you as look how shitty I looked before and look how much better I look now with all this makeup, all this clothes. I don't want to make that before and after as if it started to be something horrible and it ended to be something great. I'm just showing you a transformation. I'm just showing you the two sides of me. Of course, I have plenty Believe me, plenty of insecurities and I'm very self-conscious about a lot of things about my body, about my face, about my life. I think it's important to maintain a positive message, especially when you have a YouTube channel and especially when you have quite a few followers. Not really my case, but I really hope that the followers that I have can get this positive message of being comfortable whatever you look like and you're beautiful however you look like it's not the clothes and it's not the makeup that makes you beautiful and i really appreciate other channels that uh give the same message and i don't see a lot of that on the goth community to be honest i see the exact opposite a lot of goths the most popular goth that you see when they're not they're fully dramatic goth selves they're very like oh don't look at me i look horrible without makeup oh the shame it's okay for people to show their insecurities but the message that comes across is that uh, you're not good enough if you don't have all that makeup, all the clothes. And it's the message is very strong on the visuals, like what you see is what matters. And uh, that kind of gets to me a little bit. And that's why I avoid seeing that type of content as well, because I know that I might be influenced by, by that kind of thoughts. And even if I'm not aware at first, when I see this beautiful girl, this beautiful person always talking shit about themselves, I also get those same feelings. I want to see someone that loves themselves, so that type of message and that type of vibe can also come across to me and so I have this positive feeling and that happy feeling once I'm watching the videos. And I also find it quite interesting that the channels that have the more hauls, the more buy stuff, look at the stuff, look at the makeup, look at the clothes, are also the channels that have the most uh, self-deprecating comments like don't look at me, I don't look fully glammed up, I don't look fully dressed, that kind of stuff. Well, fully dressed, well, don't look at me, I'm naked. Also, are we expected to believe that those people um, have a full face of makeup every second of the day. I mean, it's just a, it's just a weird message. Like, we all look like weirdos without eyebrows and without makeup at the end of the day, and that's totally freaking fine. I, I don't, I don't get it. Why the, the horror? Um, you just saw me without makeup. Oh no! Just kind of shows you that uh, it's a bit dangerous to have low self-esteem and. Um, a bunch of whole videos kind of hand to hand because that's what happens when I'm at my lowest in terms of self-esteem when I'm feeling shit about myself when I really think I'm hideous when I want to hide from the world the thing that I think about the most is buying clothes and buying makeup and buying shit that I think will make me feel or look better at that time I just think maybe if I buy new makeup maybe if I buy new clothes maybe if I just buy a bunch of shit to hide what I'm feeling right now. Of course, that's a bunch of bullshit because when you're feeling like shit, it's not 
materialistic stuff that will make you feel better it's just something that you need to work internally but I find it a bit dangerous again if I'm feeling down or if I'm watching content that makes me feel down right next to it I'm gonna watch a video about unboxing a bunch of clothes or uh, you know promoting a brand just make you feel good now you're gonna buy this incredibly new dress and spend all your money to make you feel a little better about yourself. So my battery died as per usual, so I pretty much, uh, I'm done <laughs> with my makeup. I'm just gonna put on some lipstick. Not sure what color to choose, but I think I'm gonna try like a very dark burgundy and see how it goes. Jesus, this lipstick is hard to apply, damn. Thank you so much for staying until the end of the video. This was just me rambling, to be honest. I'm not sure if this video will make any sense once I'm editing. And I really wanted to reinforce the message that it's totally okay to feel good about your before and after. These are just different stages of you, but they are both lovable and they are both beautiful. And please, let's normalize the before. Of course, there's gonna be people that are gonna have a more dramatic look every day. But uh, it's just not realistic to think that every goth looks like they're going to wave gothic treffen every day. If they do, that's like the tiniest percentage. Just let's normalize our weird faces with no eyebrows or our faces with eyebrows. Doesn't really matter. Um, yeah, we're also human beings. <laughs> we also just like to dress like potatoes sometimes and stay at home all day and watch Netflix. And that's totally okay, and that's not ugly, and that's not unusual, and that's not ungoth, you know what I mean? If you think your identity is defined by what you're wearing, uh, you're giving clothes way too much importance. In conclusion, just remember to follow people that either inspire you, that teach you something, or just make you feel good about yourself. Whatever works for you, works for you, and just follow the person that um, makes a positive impact in your life. And I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye!